today we will learn another example from array that is linear search so what is linear search linear search is also known as sequential search in linear search we access each element of an array one by one sequentially and see whether it is the desired element or not say this is one array from 0th element to 6th element. So, there are 7 elements in this array. Now, I want to search 76. In which position 76 occurs? So, first I start searching from the starting position that is from 0th element. So, is this 76? No. Then you have to increase the index of the array. Say the index of the array is I. So, you have to in increase I. It is ARR1 now. So, I is 1 now. So, is this 76? No. Then you have to increase array I plus plus. I is 2 now. Is this 76? No. Increase array. Is this 76? No. Increase I. Is this 76? Yes. When we get 76, we get 76 here. Then you have to return the position of the 76 that is the index of the 76 what is its index it is 4 what is the value of i it is 4 so position is 4 this is the logic behind linear search now the coding see i start one for loop so you have to search the whole array you have to check each element whether your desired element is there or not so i start a for loop from 0 to less than n Means what is n here? How many number of elements here? It is 7. So, n is 7. So, less than n means 6. i starts from 0. 0 to 6 means 7. So, this loop will execute how many times? This loop will execute 6 times. Sorry, this loop will execute 7 times because it is from 0 to less than n that is less than 7 that is 6. So, 0 to 6 means 7 times. Now, if our desired element I want to search is num. So, I want to search num. Num is 76. Now, if, our, if we get our desired element, then break. Means what? First, what is the value of i? i is 0. Is there a 0 is our num? No. Then, you have to increase i. So, for loop again execute. i becomes 1. Is there a 1 equals to num? No. For loop again increased, it is 2. Is ARR 2 is num? No. For loop again increased, it is 3. Is ARR 3 is num? No. For loop again increased, it is 4. Is ARR 4 is num? Yes. So, I get our desired element at location 4. Now, no need to check the remaining portion of the array. Means, you have to write one break here. No need to check the remaining for loop here. You no need to execute the remaining for loop. Just give, give one break here and come to here. Is i equals to equals to n? What is n? n is total number of element that is 7. Is i is 7? No, i is 4. So, you have to print the number is at position i in the array. i is 4. So, number the number is at position 4 in the array. This will be the output. Now, check another condition. Another condition is if the element is not present in your array. Say, I want to search 80. Is 80 is there? No. So, start one for loop. Start this for loop. I, for i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Is error i equals to num? No. i increased. Again, error i equals to num? No. In this way, this loop will execute and finally when ARR6 comes, is ARR6 equals to num? No. Then what is the value of i now? i is 7. But this loop will execute till the value less than 7. So till the value of i is 6. So we can't execute the for loop again because the value of i after execution of this whole array becomes 7. So in that case, execute the next line of for loop if i equals to equals to n, n is 7 and 
after executing the whole loop i value is also 7 so is i equals to equals to n yes now i am i am already checked i am already checking the whole for loop but i can't get our desired element so you have to write the number is not present so this is the logic for linear searching now see the code See, I am declaring one array of 30 elements. Take the number of elements from the user set is n. Here n value is 7 in our example. Supply the element. You take uh, those uh, 7 elements by executing this for loop and take the value of your array by executing 7 times this for loop. Now, again, you want to ask for the number which, you, which, which the user want to search. Enter the number to search which the user want to search here. So user give num here in our case num is 76. Now this portion is this portion is for linear searching and we already discussed in the previous slide this portion. And now, now finally either you get the number is not present or the number is at position uh, required position in the array. So this is the whole programming. Go through the program, pause your video and go through the program. Try to execute this program in your computer. Pause your video. Now, when you run the program, supply the number of element. Here I am giving say 5. Supply the element. I am giving 44 then 33, then 22, then 88, and then 66. And then I want to search, say, 22. So it is at the second position in the array. Why second? Because I start counting from 0. So 0, 1, 2. So it is at the second position in the array. Now, this is your homework. Try to solve, solve these two problems and feel free to ask any question. You have to give the answer in the comment section. I am waiting for your answer. And for getting more, more updates, more, more video, please subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.